Vice President Biden accuses Mitt Romney of running on a non-existent foreign policy. But will foreign policy be a decisive issue in an election where the economy dominates in most voters' minds? Joining me now, National Security Advisor to the President's re-election campaign and former Indiana Congressman Tim Romer. Mr. Romer is also a former ambassador to India and a visiting fellow at the Harvard Institute of Politics. Well, Congressman, now that I've gotten your <laughs> curriculum vitae out of the way, I have to let you go. <laughs> uh, I, let, me, let me ask you about this. Obviously, Obviously, this is the latest in a series of speeches by Joe Biden to try and frame the election. Uh, I want to play something for you that Joe Biden had to say uh, talking about Mitt Romney. Let's play that and we'll come back and talk about it. We can't go back to the future, back to a foreign policy that would have America go it alone. Shout to the world you're either with us or against us. Lash out first and ask the hard questions later, if they get asked at all. He starts with a profound, a profound misunderstanding of the responsibilities of a president and the commander in chief. Back to the future, profound misunderstanding. Uh, Is that campaign rhetoric or do you believe that's borne out in Mitt Romney's record and, and fair game, Congressman? Well, Chris, good to see you. And uh, one of the uh, things you didn't mention in my very generous over-the-top introduction from you (laughs) was uh, serving on the 9-11 Commission. Uh, Just miles from here, over a decade ago, bin Laden carried out a vicious attack on America, killing almost 3,000 people. The President of the United States, as a strong commander-in-chief, was determined to go after bin Laden, made honorable decisions, tough decisions to get him. Uh, A big difference between him and the consultant-in-chief, Mitt Romney, who would say he would defer things to his generals all the time, uh, and he would not move heaven and earth to go after bin Laden. Uh, I think this president has a superb, strong, uh, very, very uh, visionary, uh, accomplished record in foreign policy. He promised the American people to get out of the Iraq war. He's brought over 142,000 troops home. He is committed to degrade and decimate al-Qaeda. He has followed through on that pledge and made us safer at home. And he has put economic security at the top. I know when I served in India, uh, the president came to see me over there and said, how are we making sure that we're getting more jobs at home in uh, places like the Midwest by exporting made in the USA products overseas? So I think the president's doing a great job here and I think uh, Governor Romney with all due respect uh, when you give a major speech at the Citadel uh, on foreign policy and you fail to mention bin Laden or al-Qaeda in the 21st century you are looking back Uh, Congressman, I want to play very quickly uh, uh, Joe Biden talking about Iraq and Afghanistan, this administration's response to it. And I want to come back and quickly get your, your thought on this. Let's listen. President Obama began to act immediately. He set in motion a policy to end the war in Iraq responsibly. He set a clear strategy and an end date for the war in Afghanistan, which has been going on for close to a decade. So, Congressman, I was struck by the language, set in motion a policy, uh, a a clear end date. Is this what the definition of winning looks like in this age of modern warfare? Is that what the Obama administration is trying to say? I think tough leadership, strategic decision making, counseling with the generals, but making the decision, uh, whether it's in Iraq to responsibly bring all 142,000 troops home or set a timetable, work in the international community with partnerships, Uh, strategic uh, relationships and also get us out of the Afghanistan uh, war but strengthen that country so it can uh, continue uh, on its own uh, for its sovereignty and its independence. That's the policy the president's laid out. Uh, Mitt Romney, on the other hand, has been fairly feckless and clueless uh, and reckless on this policy. He's changed uh, his opinion on it, going to support a timetable, away from a timetable. Uh, He changed his opinion, as I mentioned, on whether or not it was worth uh, moving resources to go get bin Laden. And he's changed his mind uh, even when the president was successful in putting together an international uh, coalition to go after uh, Gaddafi uh, in Libya and was successful. I think uh, Governor Romney has flip-flopped on that issue as well. Congressman uh, Tim Romer, a man of many accomplishments, one of which is joining us on the show. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Great to see you.